Hey, hello, you're stuck in traffic Wolf for like a couple minute rep on IT and IT security. Today, looking at uh, doing dynamic application security scans of RESTful APIs. Uh, this is a follow up to the video I did a couple days ago about comparing SOAP and, and REST. And uh, as with any of my videos, right, um, <laughs> these are improvised. Sometimes people are like, how long do you write your scripts? I'm like, I hit record and I record. <laughs> and, uh, and so it's usually improvised, uh, it's usually off the cuff, and uh, errors creep in as well as going way too fast and leaving people wondering, what what, what did that mean? So uh, I'm going to circle back to one of the things we talked about earlier, and that is the value of a wisdom and soap and why not having one in REST is an important thing. So tip to you, when you're building your RESTful APIs, Make sure you're engaging dynamic security scans to find weaknesses. I'll tell you more about that in a minute. And make sure when you're using dynamic security scans that you're using something like Swagger to create a definition file. Here's what is. Um, when you have a dynamic security scan, it's basically trying garbage input against various different parameters to see if you have weaknesses that could lead to injection flaws or code logic vulnerability flaws. Think of this as like trying to brute force or fuzz uh, any other type of API where you're just basically throwing garbage at the parameters and seeing what pops out. If it's something weird, you go, ah, ha <laughs> ha, there's the problem. And you read the, run a red flag. Several different tools that do this, um, you know, app scan, um, NTO Spider, uh, Fortify and Web Inspect, several different ways to do it. But all of them need some way, some way, to know what an API is using for parameters, right? Because otherwise, how do you know what URLs to use, what uh, values to, to throw at it, and so on and so forth. So, a couple days ago when I mentioned, oh yeah, Wizzle is great because it, it self-documents for the API. People are like, well, I bet you don't really need it, and uh, there's other ways to do it. Oh, that's true. My point was, if you have a documentation for the API, which the WSDO is for SOAP, and it gets created automatically, you can put the WSDO into your scanner, and your scanner then goes, ah, ha, here's the quantity, I'll throw a string at that, right? Um, Here's a number, I'll throw really large numbers or negative numbers and see what happens. Here's what looks like a parameter, I'll try SQL inject. You can try all those things. With REST, if you don't have a similar documentation of the API, the scanner doesn't know what to scan. And if the scanner doesn't know what to scan, it's gonna go, you look fine, I confirmed I could open it. I think we're okay. Uh, this is akin to any other scan where you don't have creds or things to test. So by running something like Swagger against the RESTful API, it will create documentation of what parameters and what values to use, and then most modern web services scanners can import the Swagger file and use that for the brute forcing and the fuzzing. So uh, give it a shot. If you're building one, do that. Do that along with code quality. This is something that you would find in your secure development lifecycle, take a look at the secure development lifecycle standards for information and ask your doctor if Swagger is right for you. <laughs> no, but seriously, it's it's well worth scanning and plugging because if you don't, someone else will and they're going to find stuff. Uh, that's it for me. What do you think? What other uh, gotchas are there about scanning? Comments, social media, hit me up. Have a good weekend.